This is the brand new 2021 Giving Martian TV backlight, an RGB IC LED strip to place behind your TV that will match automatically the AMOLED color to what's on the screen. With vibrant color, it will transform your TV experience from this to this. It will improve both gaming and movie experience and after getting used to it, it's hard to go back without. From last year version, we see an improved 1080p camera, better color and improved and more accurate color picking science. But is it enough to be called Philips Hue Killer? Let's find out. So what's up guys and welcome to a new episode here on Shite of Tech. If you're new to the channel and you don't know me, my name is Fabrizio, but you can call me Fabri. And I'm really passionate about bleeding edge technology and Apple. So if you are too, this is the right place for you. Also, I remove all the monetization from this YouTube video. So if you appreciate that, be sure to drop a big like and subscribe with the bell icon on to support the channel. For full disclosure, I want to make clear that yes, Gooby sent this product after my explicit request. So thank you, Gooby. But no, I'm not paid a sponsor in any way by them. And as always, after my testing, I bring you only my personal opinion on this product. And in this way, I can say true to you guys. And honestly, there are many positives to talk about, but also a few negatives as well. But what is it? At first sight, it might look like a cheap $10 LED strip, but you couldn't make a bigger mistake. This is an RGB IC LED strip, not a simple RGB. It's how Gooby calls a LED strip that is able to display different colors for each section of the LED strip, creating a nice gradient. After placing it behind your TV, it will create a sense of immersion, changing the amulite color according to the movie you are displaying on the screen. Thanks to a fish-high 1080p camera, the way it works is indirect, meaning that it will change the color watching from outside. So don't expect 100% accuracy. Also, my 65-inch TV is well-mounted, so the LED light goes directly against the wall. To have the best experience, you should use it on a TV place, on a media center, for example, to create a deeper background. That said, I think the result is pretty great, don't you? The best reason to choose this system is that it will work with everything displayed on the screen. YouTube, Prime Video, Netflix, cable TV, gaming console, and it's not only limited to HDMI input like other systems do. Also, I find it very high quality in the building materials and it can work with Google Home and Alexa Assistant as well. And you can create some cool routines as well like this. Okay, Google, cinema mode on. Last year, we got the opportunity to test the 2020 version of the same product. And I must say, I'm really impressed because they improved almost all my nitpicking list of improvements. They greatly improved the ColorSense camera that is now 1080p Full HD, so more pixels means greater accuracy. But they didn't stop here. They improved the color science to make it even more accurate and responsive, and they drastically reduced the delay between the image on the screen and the color change on the LED strip. They also added a bottom side of the TV since last year model had only three sides for some reason. They improved the calibration process using seven points instead of four to better understand what's on the screen and improved the junctions between each segment that were very hard to bend before. There are season gimmicks like the fixed length of the strip that works great on the 55 inch but starts to create some holes on the bigger models like my 65 inch TV. In a very small box, Goovy is always able to pack everything you need. You have the LED strip itself that has seen greater improvement with a coated cover that makes it waterproof. And again, I was mentioning the four sides instead of three from last year. 
Then there's the controller with some keys and buttons and the power brick itself. Here we have an USB-C for the strip and it's so nice, USB-C everything please. And finally the 1080p camera, they also improved the sitting piece of the camera stand and in this way you can place it precisely in the right position as they intended to be. Also, you get all the orange control points for configuration and some adhesive mounting tools, even more than you'll ever need. The mounting process is really neat. The LED strip has a pre-applied glue behind. It's not a classic adhesive tape, it's some kind of paste, really nice. You can reapply multiple times in case you make some positioning mistakes or change your mind after placing it behind your TV. In the end, I decided to mount it watching out from the side of the TV instead of the back wall to have a better effect with my no gap wall mounting, but I suggest to place it watching behind in a non wall mounted setup. Then position the camera on the center of the screen and the base will help positioning and as a pre-applied sticker as well. Connect the LED strip, the power and the camera and you're ready to go. Turning it on, it will automatically work, but I highly suggest to configure the camera first. You'll have to place the orange squares in the corners and in the midst of each side. Again, they improved from last year because they used sticker last year. This is so much better. And then run the GUVI app. You'll be able to give a specific name to the strip, connect to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, and then configure the camera. Really better configuration from last year model. Now they ask you if the camera is on the top or on the bottom. I use another one on the bottom for the Gooby Flow Pro, more in the dedicated review. And if you put the street clockwise or not. Also you have to move on the picture taken from the camera, the four corner dots and then the other dots to select the area. And in my opinion, this can still be improved a little bit because you leave a big part out on the upper side of the TV. Now let's talk about real performance. In the app, the video mode, you can choose between gaming or movie setting and entire or partial LED strip. As I said, the gaming response was really improved and in this mode I suggest you to select partial lightning in order to mimic the game very well. In game, the colors don't change too fast so it's really nice effect. Also, this model will reduce brightness in some section if the scene is too dark, this is a nice improvement as well. If you select movie, it will reduce a little bit the response time to be less distracting. In this mode, I suggest you to select only one color, otherwise the changes of scene are too sudden and it risks to be too distracting. At least this is a personal choice of course and those are my personal preferences. Also don't exaggerate with brightness and saturation as well. I prefer it to be not obtrusive. This is an ambilight, let's remember that. I've been amazed by all the improvement made from last year model and it seems to compare a product from three to four years before. But there are still some things that in my opinion can be improved in the next model. This product is sold for up to 75 inch, but with 65 it starts to create holes in the corners. If you will mount it, it could be a problem. Definitely the fourth side addition reduces this problem. Also, there are some colors like the skin tone that are not translated exactly to pink, but sometimes to red or orange. And the orange and the yellow are very hardly recognized, probably because they are the softer of the colors. So definitely turn on your TV brightness to max to improve the color picking. So in my opinion, the algorithm makes already a really good job but in some situations it can still be improved via software update, of course, like they regularly do with their app, the Gooby app, and I got confirmation from Gooby that they will continue to improve the algorithm. So, well done. The last downside doesn't apply necessarily only to this product in particular, but to Gooby product in general. Gooby in the last couple of years is becoming a great and affordable Philips Hue alternative, the same quality for a cheaper price. Now they sell a solution without an app. Each strip or light connects individually, like IKEA does. This could be a win if you have a few lights, but also a downside. For example, in rocking a LED strip setup with one Groovy immersion behind the TV, one LED strip behind the media center, two five meter each on the dry ceiling, and I wanted to add a Flow Pro on the side of the TV to create some color contrast. The only solution to make this setup look not boring was to set the strips to change automatically two to three colors 
And then I had to place not one, but two cameras, one on the top and one on the bottom of the TV to make them change according to the TV. Now, one is okay, but two is too much. Now, tell me if this isn't gimmicky. With only one camera connected to internet, they should be able, in my opinion, to control and change all the strips that are already connected. Last year, I said I would have paid more for a better camera and they put a 1080p camera for the same price. Really well done. So this time I will say that I will pay more for an HDMI receiver or a unified camera to control a set of multiple lights. So let's see how it will turn out. My favorite feature that made me choose this product and brand over other brands is Google Home Sport and Alexa Sport. I will go in bigger details in my 100% smart home tour, but I created a routine with the lights and the window blinds to create an automatic cinema mode. This is really awesome. Also, there are features that I will mention really quickly, like the music mode that will change according to the microphone on the screen and on the controller, or many scenes that you can also create or download from the community in the app. Also, you can select different colors to different segments in this gradient strip. In conclusion, are they Philips you killer? Yes, they are. For $70, you get an RGB IC LED light with a gradient and the camera. And this is by itself a complete setup that works out of the box. In my opinion, this is tremendous value considering the price of a Philips Hue Play HDMI Sync box plus a gradient strip that goes around $400 total. This system improved a lot both in gaming and movie experience and now I can go back to a non ambulate system. The downside today is that Philips Hue you can expand with infinite other lights that we sync together, creating an ecosystem. With this one, you can. So this wraps up for today. Let me know what you guys think. Did you get one or are you considering to buy one? They are right now out of stock. So let's follow the link in the description and be sure to like or dislike this video. It works as well. Comment and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao.